You know, I've been talking about the number of single mothers who've been getting married. And each time I bring that up, I get tremendous amount of pushback from the coach Greg Adams from the Alpha Male Strategies crew. I marry a no single mother. Well, I'm about to show you proof where <laughs> a single mother got married to a normal dude. One of the things that is happening is, first of all, you don't know how your feelings are gonna drop. You'll meet someone, you could be like, I'm part of the coach, Greg Adams, free agent lifestyle. I'm going to fuck these hoes to sleep, alpha male strategies. And then you meet a woman and it's different. Feelings drop. You think about her. You spend more time with her and ultimately you get in a relationship with her and it, it's different. And it don't matter that she has one child. It doesn't matter that she has two children. It doesn't matter that she has three children. And you start playing the role of the stepdad. It is happening more and more. Now, as I said in the previous video that the marriage rate has gone down, but marriage in certain categories has gone up. And the marriage rate for older single men is increasing. The overall marriage rate has come down, but in segments, older Americans are getting married. Women with children are getting married. The link below is to this single mother who is getting married. Now, there's some a little odd about this situation. She's three feet tall. That's right. This single mother is three feet tall. I'm in Atlanta and like there's this show called The Little Women of Atlanta. And I've seen an episode or two. It's just not my type of content, so I don't really watch it. But I started to do some exploration since we've been talking about single mother because I think many of them, and if not all of them, are single mothers. And they're getting in relationships with normal sized dudes like one dude to leave and another one to show up. And I'm just sitting there like the last time I saw, I'm gonna be politically incorrect and use the term midget. That's what we used to call them when I was a kid. Now I think the terminology is little people. But the other day I was in a pet store and there was two little people working there. And I thought they were curious. I thought it was interesting. But I didn't think they were sexy. I not, there was no feelings of like, yeah, I want to hit that. I want to, it just didn't hit me, you know, because they were extremely short and they had the little hands and they, they had the little, little person walk and I didn't see anything sexually attractive. You know, they were not ugly. They weren't bad looking people but I didn't see anything sexually attractive about a woman who was three feet tall. It just didn't for me, but I am beginning to see that there are many women, men, that ain't a problem. So what if you're three feet tall? I'll still, I'll still tap that. So what if you got a kid? I'll still get in a relationship with you. You'll be my little girlfriend, literally. You'll be my little baby, my little girlfriend. And this is proof positive that if a woman is halfway attractive. Now, I've looked at them and there's some, there's these two little twins on there who are, um, I think, Puerto Rican or Dominican or something like that. And they've got the curly hair, but they're, 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 they're three feet tall. They're three feet tall. They look like little toys. But I'm here to tell you that if a woman is halfway attractive, some dude will hit. Maybe you, MGTOW, red pill dude, because what is happening is that these women who have children 
are getting married left and right. They're just getting married. And I, I use this as an illustration to go to the extreme because I don't think most of you would get in a relationship with a little person. Then again, I don't know. I know I wouldn't. And it's just that there's no attraction level to someone that short. I mean, three feet tall, the disproportionate limbs. Sometimes they have an abnormally large head. Sometimes they don't. I, I don't see it. I don't think most of you would do that. But this is just an illustration to let you know that single women with children are getting married can get married and there are dudes who have no problem with the fact that they may be three feet tall or the fact that they have children. There are many dudes who will do that in a heartbeat. And I know the Greg Coach Adams monkey double backflips, the alpha male strategies crew, like we ain't doing that, we ain't doing that. Right now, you may not do that. Who's to say what's gonna happen in the next 10 years? Next 10 years, you out there, you come across this chick, she's a little different, feelings drop, and she's got 2.5 kids, and next thing you know, you get married. You're going to have to turn in your alpha male strategies card. You're going to have to get rid of your Coach Greg Adams card because many men are doing this, and these are single men who don't have children. Many, many men are doing this. Many, many men are marrying these women who have children and without bad an eye, they're doing it just like that. And part of this is, let's talk about the Rona. The Rona has changed dating. It has changed hooking up. It has changed everything. And I feel I could be wrong. We will see in a year or so that more people will be cohabitating that right there is number one. That's definitely going up. And then more people will start to get married. I feel that that is going to be something that is going to be a result of the Rona, as well as divorce rates from couples who have been forced to literally be around each other 24 seven, which has popped out or exposed their high level of compatibility. Because you could be with anybody if you don't spend no time with them. You know, if you just like see them two or three hours a day, go to sleep, don't really socialize, don't do anything with them. Yeah. But if you are in a situation where you're spending all day, every day with this person, the compatibility level will be exposed. Either you're going to have compatibility or you're not. And I feel that many of these men who are single and some of these men are successful. Some of these men have money who are marrying single mothers. I have a friend who did it. You know, he owns a business, he's doing well, and he married this woman who had two children. You know, she's a nice woman. You know, as far as I can tell, she's a lovely woman. She, you know, she treats him right. He seems to be really happy. She had two children. He did it. And I'm here to tell you that you're going to see more and more and more of this. You're going to see more men marry women with children. And I don't care how many red pill. I don't care how many MGTO YouTube channels will be out here that will be like, never, 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 never do it. Uh, I think Don Calypso, he came in there because see, here's how there, there's pushback because maybe you. Maybe you would never marry a woman with children. Maybe that is just a hard and fast rule for you. That ain't everybody. That's just you. Like the video I talked about where black folks don't have money and a lot of people get up in their feelings. Many of the comments, the dissenting comments were very emotionally based. They were talking about stuff that happened in the past and they were not dealing with real world right now relevancy. Because one of the things that you have to understand is people are people. And there is going to be a dude, perhaps a friend of yours, your brother, your uncle, maybe your father is going to marry a woman with children. And they're going to be happy and they're going to do it happily and they're not going to have any problems. But go ahead, check the link below 
and see that this little woman who has a child get married to a full size dude. I'm just here to tell you, you know, it is only halfway through the year and I've seen so many strange things. I've seen so many crazy things. And I know that as we go on, there will be more. You know, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with college football and the NFL. I'm really wanting to see what's going to happen because as we go through this year, there will be more and more changes and more and more things exposed. We will have more situations. We will have more relevations and then more exposures. Just like the Rona exposed the weak American economy. I'm here to say, you know, you, you, you will see it on Facebook. You, you will see it all over the place that these single women with children are getting married left and right. Also, to go off into um, something that's even more different, there's this YouTube channel called Squimmy and Grubs. It is about this guy. His name is Shane. And he is in a wheelchair because he has this medical condition that has stunted his growth. I think he's like three or four feet tall. He has to be in this wheelchair and he has a full size normal girlfriend. And I, I, I look at all these mid toe men and all the complaints and I, I see that these guys that you would never, ever think would be in a relationship. This guy's in the wheelchair. He, he's got this medical condition and he has a girlfriend who takes care of him. And his name is Shang and I think the channel is, you know, I'll, I'll link the channel below with the, uh, the video of the little woman who's a single mother who's getting married. And this is one of the things, because you, you will see this, because I've seen this over and over again. I've seen people with disability. Uh, there is a channel Born Different, I think, is the name of the channel. And there's this little woman, she has no arms. She, you know, and she's three feet tall and she has a full-size boyfriend. She has no arms. And once again, you know, I'm seeing this over and over and over. People you would think that would have the hardest times getting in relationships and they're in relationships. So, a woman with no arms is three feet tall. She got a boyfriend. So it's not this big stretch to think of a normal, attractive woman who just happens to be a single mother would have difficulty getting married. I'm just letting you know what's coming because I know that is a hardcore line. No single mothers. We ain't never doing that. I mean, I think there's Facebook groups devoted to that. But I'm here to tell you. Human condition is weird and strange and you will see people from all kinds of backgrounds and groups hooking up left and right because they squimmy and grubs. They did this video talking about being intimate and I'm just sitting there. You know, last thing I want to think about is some dude in the wheelchair who has all these medical conditions that I that never even occurred to me that he would even be having sex. Just not my, nothing I would think about, but apparently they are. So understand that if she's cute enough, some dude will hit, even if she doesn't have any arms, even if she's three feet tall, some dude's going to tap that. It's crazy. All right. That's all I got for you. Go ahead. Check out this next video.